prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who bore the Creator of all things. You became the mother of your Maker, and you remain forever virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration worshiping God with Mary. Let the life of Mary teach us today to worship God in authenticity of spirit and inspiration of our hearts. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Our reading from the first book of Kings. Jeroboam thought to himself, the kingdom will return to David's house. If now these people go up to offer sacrifices in the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem, the hearts of the people will return to their master. Rehoboam, king of Judah, and they will kill me. After taking counsel, the king made two calves of gold and said to the people, You have been going up to Jerusalem long enough. Here is your God, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. And he put off in Bethel the other in Dan. This led to sin because the people frequented those calves in Bethel and in Dan. He also built temples and the high places and made priests from among the people who were not Levites. Jeroboam established a feast in the eighth month and the fifteenth day of the month to duplicate in Bethel the pilgrimage feast of Judah with sacrifices to the calves he had made. And he stationed in Bethel priests of the high places he had built. Jeroboam did not give up his evil ways after this, but again he made priests for the high places from among the common people. Whoever desired, it was consecrated and became a priest of the high places. This was the scene and the part of the house of Jeroboam, for which it was to be cut off and destroyed from the earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have seen we are our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They made the calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bola. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way, and some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, Where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, How many loaves do you have? They replied, Seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. 
Then, taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets. They were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dalmanutha. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. And uh, I would like to thank all of you for joining me in our celebration, in our worship this Saturday morning. Our readings today are all about worship, worshiping God. In our first reading from the first book of Kings, we first see the wrong way, the wrong notion of worship. We see the character of Jeroboam, the king of the northern kingdom of Israel. He had a wrong notion of how to worship God. He thought that to worship God is to have gold. He made golden images of calves so that people could worship this gold. The more the gold, the better the worship. The more the offerings, the better your worship. The more things you have, the bigger the temples, the bigger the worship spaces, the better your worship is. That was his idea of worship. But we see in our first reading, it was condemned by God. That is not how you worship. That is the wrong way of worshiping God. Akala niya, mas maraming ginto, mas kumikinang na mga templo, mas maganda ang pagsamba, at mas matibay ang pagsamba sa Diyos. Pero sabi ng Diyos, hindi yan ang tamang pagsamba sa akin. In our gospel reading today, we see how Jesus taught us the correct way, the new way of worship. If Jeroboam worshipped using gold, using an abundance of offerings, what did Jesus use in our gospel reading today to worship? The bread. A simple piece of bread. But in the simplicity of bread, Jesus was able to worship God. That is the new way of worship. A worship that feeds and nourishes others. A worship that teaches you to share. That is why the disciples were asked by Jesus, How many loaves do you have? How many fish do you have? Seven pieces? That is enough to worship God. 
if only you know how to share that seven pieces of bread. Worship that inspires you to change. At the beginning of the gospel, the disciples did not want to share their bread. But later on, the disciples changed. They were inspired by Jesus to distribute the bread and the fish. That is the correct way of worship. Tinuruan ni Jesus ang kanyang mga alagad paano ang tamang pagsamba sa kanya. Ang pagsamba na nagtuturo sa ating magbahagi. Ang pagsamba na kahit maliit man ang iyong maibahagi, ito naman ay natututunan mong ibahagi sa iba. At isang pagsamba na nagbabago sa ating mga kalooban. My dear brothers and sisters, I know that uh, this pandemic has taught us different ways of worship, new ways even of worship. Nito pong dumaan na mga taon dahil sa pandemic, parang mayroon tayong bagong pamamaraan ng pagsamba. Siguro po marami sa atin ay natuto na manood ng mga online masses. Maybe many of you here are here in the Manila Cathedral because of the online masses. Baka dati hindi nyo naman pinupuntahan itong simbahan na ito. O kaya dati ay hindi nyo naman naririnig yung mga misa sa Manila Cathedral. Pero dahil sa online mass, ah, may misa pala sa Manila Cathedral. Pwede palang pumunta dyan. And so I am sure many of you who are uh, pilgrims here have come to know worshiping here in the Manila Cathedral because of the prevalence of online masses. Sabi nga nung iba sa akin, Father, alam mo ba, minsan dahil sa online mass, nakakalimang misa ako <laughs> sa maghapon. Sabi ko, limang misa. Ay, iba-ibang simbakan ko eh. Ma, madaling araw, sa Kiapo, pag 7.30 sa Manila Cathedral, alas gis, may misa sa ganito. Kahit nga sa ibang bansa na misa, napapanood ko. No? Kaya iba-iba, iba-ibang homily ang natututunan ko, iba-ibang misa na aatinan ko. But let us remember that even if we are faced with this new way of worship, let us ask ourselves if this is the worship intended by Jesus. You have attended five online masses in a day. Ngayon ba ay mas mapagbigay ka na? O baka mas masungit ka pa lalo after ng five online masses mo a day? Ganon pa rin ang ugali. You have attended online masses, but did it inspire you more? to come physically to Mass again, to receive communion? Or are you content with just sitting down at home and watching online Mass? Sabi nga nung iba, kulang na lang daw ay magkaroon sila ng kolekta sa bahay, no? <laughs> dahil lagi lang sila nasa online Mass. The online Mass should create in you a hunger to be physically in church when it is already possible for you. My dear brothers and sisters, this pandemic has created for us new ways of worship. But this new way of worship should be according not to ourselves, not even to online masses, but according to the worship taught to us by Jesus, a worship that feeds and nourishes, 
a worship that teaches us to share, a worship that inspires us to change. In this celebration of the Eucharist, we come to Mary. We are inspired by Mary, and we worship with Mary. Mary, who worshipped God with her whole life, with her yes and obedience to God. Let us be inspired to worship God through the inspiration of Our Lady. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration to worship God in Jesus Christ. Later in the Eucharist, we will offer the greatest worship and offering, the bread of life. A simple bread, but a bread that is pure, a bread that is clean, a bread that shares, a bread that offers. Let us learn from Jesus on how to worship God. Amen. Please stand. In the miracle of the feeding of 4,000 people, our Lord shows us that the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the gifts He can provide us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, overflow us with Your love. Lord, overflow us with Your love that our pastors, especially the Pope and the bishops, may continue to nourish us with sound teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord overflow, overflow us, us with, with your, your love. love, that those who work to combat famine may be successful in their effort to feed millions of starving people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord overflow, overflow us, us with, with your, your love, love, that those who hunger for Christ may find the one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord overflow, overflow us with, with your, your love. love. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord overflow, overflow us with, with your, your love, love, that the faithful departed may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord overflow, overflow us with, with your, your love. love. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and to praise bless and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever virgin mary for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light jesus christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood 
of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang nilikha Ipinagling walang sala Pusong dalis ay dakila Maria inanang